各位亲爱的来宾朋友，大家好，欢迎再次回到 Wiki Data Con 二零二三。那接下来呢，为大家带来的是 Except for 那个危机论坛的主题演说。那我们欢迎 Alex、Michael、Dudy 跟林佑博，还有我们的这一组的主持人陈瑞玲。OK， 那这场话会依照讲者的那个国籍，那右博这边会用中文，然后题目是，呃，等一下，从应用研究领角度看资料跨域协作的瓶颈。那右博的一些背景的话，他是在公家体系在服务的，所以他会以这个角度来看，然后讲到政府开放资料以及社群协作的部分。那第二位讲者的话是来自啊澳洲的 Alex。Next time we'll talk about uh, his uh, his speech is about Wikidata as the world's global gazetteer, and the first speaker is from uh, Indonesia, Michael Lim. His uh, speech title is "Lexum Wikidata Project as a Source of Knowledge and Preservation of Local Language." And the fourth uh, speaker, Dudi from Malaysia, is using his speech is using Wikidata for cosplay ACG world. And if you had been to uh, Wikimania, uh, Dodi has a cosplay sections during the Wikimania. So, uh, yeah, so see someone is, is already attended Wikimania, so already see his cosplays uh, displays. And you can go to Wiki uh, Media Commons to see uh, Dodi's cosplay photos. Okay, and then after these four speakers, we will have a simple panel. Talking about issue uh, about the in the ESEP area. 这边特地用中文解释一下 ，ESEP 这个词是危机一个分区的概念的。那包括四个地区。那一、e、的话是东亚，那 S E L 的话是东南亚这边，那 P 代表 Pacific 这边。那这个范围的话就包括传统就是东亚这边国家，日本、香港、台湾以及东亚国家。然后就是大洋洲这边，澳洲、纽西兰以及一些大洋洲呃这些国岛国这样子啊。那 and、uh, near the end we will talk about we will have a simple panel we will discuss issue around the East Asia area. Let's welcome Lin Youbo for his speech. And I have to remind everyone the speech will be in Chinese. So if you need interpret, please go to the Wikidata Taiwan's YouTube channel. Choose the English channel. Channel or the Mandarin channel. Okay, let's give the time. Let's applaud for Youbo. 好，那感谢嗯、呃、主席这边跟司仪这边的一个介绍。那接下来我来稍微移动一下下哦。那预计会花个二十分钟跟大家来介绍这个主题。哦，那这个主题它会着重在于说，用个人的经验跟角度去探讨说，我们将资料或者是 Wikidata 作为一个工具，应用到我们的兴趣或者是工作之中的时候，我们遇到的问题，以及我们为什么会想要用这个方式去解决。好，那。大概会有几个摘要的部分。嗯，首先可能或许简单的提一下，我们为什么要去协作？那我自己一个人做可不可以呢？那协作它有什么好处？那当我们开始去做的时候，我们会遇到的一些问题，或者是我们不管是在工作上还是兴趣上，我们会遇到的选择抉择会是什么？那接着我们在厘清了这两个问题之后，会用大概三个案例，就是个人参与的部分，包括跟外部的团队、跨机关的合作，以及像早上次长所提到的总统杯的专案，然后以及我们在业务上啊、嗯、做操作的一些嗯工作需求，或是在政府的一些政策推动上的一些经验。以及我们未来的一些目标。最后，我们再来看说，这个工具不只是 Wikidata， 它还有很多的 side project， 包括 Wikipedia， 甚至说 Wiki Commons、Wiki News， 以及甚至我们在扩展到 Open Street Map， 它的一个开放性跟串联性，然后有一些像
，呃，我们国内其实早上市场有讲到有一些在发展中的制度，那早期我们可能是用 schema.org 去统一这一些格式，让它能够呃进一步的去流通。好，那我们先来看看。我们为什么要协作这些东西？那其实很多事情，一个团队来做，其实很多时候如果合作的顺利，那一定是比一个人强。一个人的时间只有二十四小时，两个人就四十八。对，那合作的顺利，它的产出跟能量是等比级数的上升。那第二个来说，呃，我们。其实是一个很社会化的群体生物，同时我们不管是哎在座的所有电子器材、食物、环境，都是借由互助、分工而得来的。哦，所以说这个是我们很重要的一个合作跟经济制度。那第二个呢，则是 Wikidata， 我们谈的是资料，我们谈的是开放，我们谈的是连接。那么，如果没有被连接到的资料，甚至我们直接说它是一个无法被搜寻的资料的时候，在广义上，这个资料它就已经死了，它不会被别人找到，它也无法被利用。所以，这个也是一个我们在协作的过程想要去避免跟克服的一个点。好，那最后来说，呃，目前我们在文化。发展的情况下，其实我们很多的东西它并不限于单一的领域，我们很多真正困难的问题都受限于它需要跨领域的合作，因此这个原因才导致说，其实我们很多的合作，还有我们为什么在极度推广跨领域协作这件事情，以及 Wiki Data 如何在连接这一块事情上的优势。所以说，综合来说，这些就是我们为什么要去跨域协作、跟做资料连接的一个根本原因。哎，我来搓一下。哎呀，简报好像不太会动。我们请导播组，是不是？咦？哎呀，有点小问题。这个就是硬体协作产生的问题。哎呀，哎呀，协作又重新连接起来了。好，那么应用上我们遇到的瓶颈，比如说刚刚遇到的一个问题，呃，可能连线上有一些问题。那我们到回到专案上来说，我们要去做操作的时候，最常用的情况，因为商业上它有自己的。逻辑领域跟它的规则，所以在非商业的 Wiki Data 或是体系上，他们交集不多，但是还是有一些应用。那相对于这个应用上，各位或者说我自己的经验上最常用到的会是，第一个是自己的兴趣。那工作上是因为在政府机关的服务，所以会有一些政策的推动。民生议题的需求这一块，其实，在公共行政上，它是很能够跟 Wiki Data 以及非营利组织 NGO 做结合的部分。所以，对各位来说，呃，更直接一点的，你的兴趣，或者是你对呃政治或是政府的一个需求，或是你工作上有结合的话。那么你会有比较大的机会去应用，它也能够比较对你有所帮助。那第二个来说，为什么要去使用？通常就是原本的东西其实被限制了，或者是原本的方案做不好。那么我想要尝试用不同的做法，那有大概有几个方式。那以及最后其实会有一个角度说。我们在谈链接跟开放，其实我们在时时刻刻也需要去反思，说，哎，这样做的话，它的结果是有帮助的吗？是好的吗？有时候呢，一件事情或一个做法、一个解决方案是好的，不代表说它做完或者是它导入专案之后产出的结果是好的。
哦，那这个我想在工作经验上或是会后可以再慢慢跟大家分享。然后那有了这三个东西之后，我们其实再简单来说，有自己的经验，那我们在什么时候会用 Wiki Data？ 那它其实会，它的原则上的一个概念是，你要理解它的优势，跟它作为一个工具，它的特点是什么。那以及很多人他在使用上，或是有一些误解，比如说大家或是有一些老师会希望说，哎、欸，文献引用不要用 Wiki Data， 哦，或者是呃 Wiki Data 它有一些谬误，它有很容易被修改的问题。那其实很多时候它只是被用到了不适合的地方，比如说我取呃台湾国土测绘中心。针对台湾水准原点的技术报告，里面资深的教授史天元老师研究的时候，他是在内文中去提到 Wiki Data 有提到这个事情。那他其实不一定是用引用的模式，但是他可以用不同的方式去讲述 Wikipedia 跟 Wiki Data 上所连接到的资料。哦，所以端看各位如何去使用这个工具跟解决方案。它其实没有过去大家想象中，或者是呃不同领域的人，他可能还不熟悉的一些误解，这个是可以克服的。哦，那第二个来说，呃，我们为什么要用？那没没为什么，其实你你想用就用，对啊。如果它有对你有帮助，那你就可以选择用啊。你不想用也没差哦。所以是要不要用，就是端看你自己的需求。那在回过头的一些思考来说，会更深层的，除了去想象说我这样操作之后，它的结果是好的、坏的，或是具有工业性质的以外，其实还有一个更抽象的概念是，我是为了他人、为了环境，或者是可能为了一个社会议题跟结构性的议题去做这些事情，还是我是为了自己的需求？那这个是一个更抽象、更概念的点，在我们可能在应用或是做操作的时候，都可以去思考跟问自己的部分。好，那接下来我们用三个个人的案例去提。好，第一个是开放，呃，在一百一十年，就是二零二一年开放的一个开放资料集，一个 data set。那中间会提到为什么？想要去做这件事情，除了长官跟我执行的专案，他有需要以外，他背后还有一个我想要解决的问题是什么？那以及说，呃，在跟社群还有跨机关的合作，那在 LAS 社群这边，我们获得总统杯的卓越团队之后，我们延伸的东西，跟他背后我们另外想要达成的东西是什么？在最后来说是。哎，我在机关里面的业务，这个业务它有什么成果？这个成果又如何能够跟外面的系统做结合？跟我们为什么想要去做结合？他会提到我们很早之前提到的 linking data、五星 data。好，那从第一个来说，在这一个资料集八三九子集水区来说，人。这个东西我们就是希望原本一个没有公开的东西，能够转换成新的版本。那这个公开的版本能够跟既有的资料做对照。好，那中间我们不只是有对照到 QID， 在当年主要针对一些水文的资料，去赋予它 QID 的一个连接特性。那后续我们其实还在做。那不过大部分是文月在做了，有时候是他做完之后再把他的资料拿来用。对，这个东西它的本质上是一个 GIS， 它具有两种资料属性，一个是形状点线面的资料，另外一个是结构化的资料，这两个结合在一起才会是呃 GIS 的的一个资料格式。我们最常见的是学法友，但即便它其实不是开放格式，它是商业格式之后被迫开放，然后被迫变成资料标准。那这个东西它也已经变成是实际的开放资料集。当然我们会有一些想象、需求跟目的
。不过这个都是当年的一些需求，那后续可以再多深入介绍。如果各位有兴趣的话，都欢迎来找我这边去聊聊。好，那这个东西，我们的核心资料它其实横跨不同的资料区、不同的资料范围、不同的资料表跟图表。那中间我们就想办法把它结合起来。那之前为什么没有结合？其实是业务上它其实没有这个需求，以及说它在还没有开放之前，事情没有比较坏。那开放之后有可能比较好吗？不确定。所以它在一个不好也不坏的情况之下，它其实没有特别的诱因去做这件事情。那在之前，他其实也做了很多的版本改动，但是这些其实针对业务来说，他已经完成他的任务。但是他在更早期，可能也是只有纸本，甚至说如同刚刚讲的，他没有暂时没有开放的理由跟需求，以及我们在刚刚提到的一个瓶颈里面，针对不知道这个东西存在的人，这个东西真的存在吗？答案是不存在。当你不知道这个报告、这个历史的时候，它对你来说就是不存在于这个世界上的东西。除非它借由这个开放资料集，借由我的简报，它能够连接到现有的资料跟历史脉络，借由我们的论坛有直播的录影，它可以被留下记录，接着这些 QID 让它可以被搜寻。这个资料，当你搜寻到它，或者它被保存下来之后，它被 archive 之后，它才有意义。好，那这个是其中的一个目标。那这一些中间的一些转换，呃，其实就只是说我们当时做的一些努力跟一些问题，细节很多，所以先不提到那么细的部分，就是让大家看一下它之前的资料结构。以及说它背后代表的业务逻辑，其实横跨不同的单位。那这一些我们想办法去做对照，并且把它更新到最新的开放资料的版本。当然，这一些版本当时我们清理完，甚至说你可以在里面看到这一些资料，当时是分局啊，表示它是改组之前。其实它里面的版本跟脉络，这两个是我们做资料跟版本管理很重要的一个特征，以及我们在资料整理，我们去融合各个业务、各个实体存在的东西之后，一定会产生同名，但是可能是不同的物体的不同实体的情况。那这个时候，我们就可能需要很多的表签去克服这一个问题。那这个就是 Wikipedia 跟 Wikidata 的一个强项。那很多的时候，哦，像刚刚提到的，对于不同体系结构，它其实有很多的领域知识。那你为了要去解决这些问题，你其实没办法用单一领域的经验或者是自己的想象去克服。像问题里面提到说，哎，这个之后它会朝向这个做法吗？那其实这个做法是不太可行，也不太可能。但是其实很多人的想象是，哎，是不是会有一个主管机关，会有一个大型的统合的目标？那其实没有。对，那目前的资料它可以解释部分的情况，那它也可以呃符合现在或是当时的一个资料版本，那它的任务其实就已经完成了。所以这个是呼应到说。呃，你要解决问题的目的是为了自己还是为了他人？那当你在跨你的问题解决需要跨领域的合作的时候，你其实必须要去了解你以外的人，他运作的方式、规则，跟他为什么会产生这个问题。有时候我们想要应用 Wiki 的工具去解决一个问题的时候。那个问题其实是原因产生的结果，有的时候我们需要解决的其实是原因的一个架构。那在这一些是我们当时水文资料做的一些对应。
在现在，它今年其实还有更新，做一些拓扑的一个关联图，那也有跟 Wiki Data 去做勾结。所以在我们的目标来说，其实这一个资料集它更重要的是将未公开的资料能够版本更新，但不是从头做起，并且让它公开之后能够锁定在2021年跟当时所有公开的版本。即便现在它的版本很旧，但是各位可以找得到这些旧的资料，那你就可以把它。呃，串联回去，并且把它更新到目前的一个版本，你的差异性、你的应用性都可以做出来。那我们去尝试做一些资料结构的串联合作，还有让它能够变成开放资料。那在开放的这个制度下，它可以让更多人知道，可以让后面的人知道，不会因为我没有把档案交接给谁，或者是放在随身碟，随身碟坏了。更早期是用光碟保存，光碟保存资料也有保存年限，哦，所以为了克服这些问题，其实啊、呃、更深的这些需求，就同时是工作上我会碰得到，但是我个人的需求跟一些为了他人或是为了群众利益来说，我觉得有更好的方式，所以我就把它放到这个专案里面去利用这一些工具。那在第二个来说 l a s 里面。我们是希望他，当然他有一些跨机关的合作，他本身的专案也有取得一定程度的认可跟成功，但是更进一步，我们想借由这个专案，想办法去串接不同单位的资料格式跟应用方式，去取得不同单位间最大共通性的一个结果。当时他实际的专案名字是。喝好水，吃好物，有良局。那当然，网络上也都可以查到资料。同时，在主持人跟社群这边也留下很多的线上的资料跟文档。目标也是从当时我们在推动，嗯，水知识社群，包括很多的 NGO 也在同一个领域里面努力，但是大家关注的议题会有所不同。那我们这边会关注在数位资料跟一些防灾的应用。那在中间，我们提当时也提出了解决方案，有很多的产品。那也借由说，遇到问题，我们在我们所能及的范围内，有很多的工具方案，可以让我们去参与，直接解决这个问题，而不一定说要期期待、祈祷别人来做。哦，那有时候自己做其实是最快的，但是相对辛苦的来说，你要去了解。别人为什么这样做？他们的想法是什么？啊，在中间，我们的团队工程师他也有融合了多项的一个资料去做，像是一个图台，还有资料视觉化的呈现。啊，那真正的我们隐藏另外一个想做的事情是，像呃台湾水利署他们在多年前统一了数值模式，使用的是荷兰开发的商业软体。商业模拟软体 Sobek， 那么我们这几年在发展的也是荷兰 Delta， 它发展的另外一个城市模组叫 Wflow。那这两个东西啊，其实都是针对水，就是降雨，然后转成地表水的一个流动。那这两个东西会是我们在呃灾害预防跟做数值模拟的一个很重要的参数。那最终，我们希望能够找到一个公公约数，并且能够将这两个资料串起来，去达到呃我们流域上的一个水平衡的目标。当然，这个只是目标，它有很多的前置作业要做，我们也还在努力当中。那在最后来说，我以目前服务的机关，因为改组之后。我们新的名称缩写是 A R D S W C Agriculture Department of Soil and Water Preservation。如果我没记错的话，对，我们改制成农业部农村发展及水土保持署，这是目前服务的单位之一。哦，那目前还有服务其他的单位跟其他相关的作业。
，但是以农村水保署来说，它有做了一个历史影像的一个收录，那发展了非常久。那这一些宝贵的资料，除了它已经是开放，也有一些 API 让大家使用以外，我们希望更进一步的。我们刚刚在第一个专案有提到 GIS， 它的资料其实包含了地理、地理坐标。点线面的形状，还有呃资料库格式的资料表，那这些东西，它在过去我们的开放服务里面，它其实分属在不同的领域，也就是现在上面看到的，待会会跟大家提到这个结构跟我们的期待是什么。那在讲这个之前，要先提说这个平台它当初的目的，可、嗯、是为了收集灾害。产生变化的一些照片、前后期，包括时间发生了什么事情。那我们持续的去扩充，像是从事件对应到台风，台风的 QID， 让它去跟外面的资料做连接，以及它本身的资料提供 API 去做引用，去做成开放的呃资料的 index 等等。那这一些东西，我们持续的也是每年，我们都会跟一些技术社群，不管是我们自己业务的团队执行的部分，还是我们额外去跟公众去推广，希望大家一起来操作，甚至说跟技术社群，不只是 Wikidata， 包括说 G 零 V 开放文化基金会 OCF 等等。甚至总研院跟一些我们其他的单位，其实都有持续的在想办法合作，扩充它的资料库，增加它的功能跟可用性。那并且，它其实最主要做的就是直接看到这是台二十线在高雄，它灾前发生灾害的左边它的图片，跟发生灾害后右边它的图片。当然，对我们防灾来说，我们会很在意，跟希望保留它的。呃，情况去做研究跟比较，但是其实对一般人来说，呃，如果没有做这一些的系统跟开放，它其实很快就会忘记。大家可以看到上面的时间，它其实已经发展了一段时间了。然那当然这个这个地方在上个礼拜我们也有去现看，那现场或是呃线上的各位。你可以搜寻技术研究发展平台，那你应该会看到农村水保署的一个网站，那里面会有一个研究成果的页前，点开之后会有一个 UAV 3 D 建模。那假设你的手机够强，或者是你的电脑还算可以的话，你应该可以点开十月十九号的。明霸科路桥线刊，它里面会有一个 3D 模型的连接，哦，现场跟线上的朋友可以有兴趣的话可以看一下，好、哦，那这一些当然就是我们做的一些呈现、收纳跟它的功能界面，这些都是既有而且持续的在扩充的。那我们举一个例子来说，在当然好像上上礼拜我忘记了，看一下上面的日期。左边这一个是南投县东眼山，它的一个崩塌的灾害，那有产生疑似淹塞湖的一个情况。那这个东眼山的灾害，我们东西都保存下来了之后，哎、欸，其实它就会发现，我们在做报告的时候，发现台湾有两个东眼山，一个在它是东眼山国家公园，应该是在桃园。那么这一个南投县仁爱乡的东眼山。它是当地居民称之为东眼山，我们也沿用至今。但是其实它在地图跟其他的系统上，它有另外一个名称叫做南东眼山，因为它在前一个东眼山的南边，所以它叫南东眼山。我我猜的啦，推测。哦，所以说像这种同名的一些情况，它其实就会是 Wikidata 跟我们在做资料清洗的时候，很容易遇到。或者是我们有些时候不容易在既有的系统或者是我们的业务范围内做处理的时候，其实跳脱出来，利用这些 NGO 它的一个工具，它可以得到很好的一个效果。那么我们想要做的是什么？其实，在早期一些研究人员，比如说邓东坡或者是张维志 （Whisky）， 他们其实有在提倡。
五星链接资料。那它里面的目的会希望是有一个我们人类可以读取应用，同时机器可以读取应用，并且是互相连接的一个资料集。那么在早期，它有一个结构是，当我们有自己的业务资料的时候，我们借由 schema.org 作为国际共通的格式架构，那在资料本身，它去结合 OSM 上面的呃地图，它的格式，那 OSM 的地图格式，它里面又有两个资料栏位可以连接到 Wikidata。Wikidata 可以作为这个物体的唯一编码、实体编码，并且 Wikipedia 可以作为它的文字的补充叙述，甚至说像是呃目录一样的超连接文本。哦，比如说我在 Wikipedia 的介绍里面可以有很多延伸的架构 ，Pedia 又可以让 Google 做搜寻，变成知识图谱。变成 graphic， 所以这个是当时呃，或者是有在努力，但是还呃还有待克服的一个想象跟目标架构。好，最后来总结一下说，其实 Wikidata 它本身它是一个很好的 index， 就是连接的索引目录。那同时呢？在其他的 side project 里面，呃，维基百科 Wikipedia 它可以作为很好的补充的资料来源。那同时呢，在社群的守则里面，又尽可能的去除掉它主观跟商业化的部分。所以 Wikipedia 它是一个算是很好的资料文本目录。那这个也是它的好处跟可以利用的部分。那其他像是。在它的一个可搜寻性、它的保存性，还有它整个维运的成本，其实是呃 ，Wiki 基金会 Wiki Foundation 他们在处理，所以对我们去维护资料库的成本来说是趋近于零。那同时也可以我们一直去扩充它的资料内容，哦，就像市长早上所提的，这些资料我们如果能够去扩充，能够去过滤完。然后甚至把它存到基金会上面，存到 Wikidata、Wikipedia 上，那让更多的人去使用，去提高它的引用来源跟它的准确性。那么它的价值是会持续增加，而且它并不会变成竞争式的东西。或许它会影响到一些资本百科全书的市场，但是其实那些需求在某方面来说，它会转换成另外一种形态。但是今天就不会特别提到这个部分，哦，那包括还有其他的优势来说，呃，在应用上，其实最后的建议就如同刚刚所提的，呃，大各位最有可能用到的，就是第一个就是你的兴趣，第二个就是跟你的生活以及跟政府、民生或者是呃民主政治上的一些机制，你会。想要用到的专案，不管是你要做倡议，还是你想要去呃去解决既有的一些问题，这两个机会是这两个领域是你最有机会用到。那至于商业的话，它的机制相对复杂，所以这个有机会再聊。好，那最后来说，呃。虽然今天是 Wikidata.com， 但是还有很多 Wiki 的 side project， 他们也有各自的优势。那这些东西就回到说，当然我们在推广，跟我们自己的应用经验是这样，它也有很多的优势、选择跟需求。但它其实要不要用，就是你开不开心，你要不要用它而已。如果你没有其他更好的解决方案，那你知道它可以用，你会用。那你自然会选择用它，你也可以选择不用，其实它没有那么困难。但是呢，它本身，甚至说它所有的 side project， 包括还有 wiki 教育、wiki 手册、wiki news 等等，那这些东西它真的很好用，所以也推荐给大家。未来如果在这个系统上，其实有很多的东西。我们做的数位基础建设都可以直接结合跨领域的资料成果，那这一些
实体世界的资料，借由数位孪生，或者是将它数位化之后的资料，如果能够连接到这一些索引 index 的体系里面，就可以借由这个方式将跨领域的东西给结合起来。哦，那以上是我们的一些介绍。那有一些两个简单的联呃联络方式，那今天我也会持续待在现场，所以呃各位就。呃，欢迎有兴趣的话可以跟我聊聊。那希望刚刚提到的这些专案的经验跟一些个人的想法，能够对各位有所帮助。以上，谢谢。谢谢佑博的分享。那接下来就请那个 Alex Lam come to the stage and we'll have your talk. Thank you. They already have the. Yeah, I'm going to go there. It's like the yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Alex Lum from uh, Wikimedia. Oh, did I press it? No. Uh, Alex Lum from Wikimedia Australia. Uh, my username is Canley on Wikidata and Wikipedia and all the Wikimedia projects. Uh, today, I'm here to talk to you about um, using Wikidata as a global gazetteer. So a gazetteer is a um, geographical index of uh, place names. Usually it's, that's all it is. It's just a directory or an index. Um, and it's usually used with, in conjunction with maps to provide more information. They usually contain coordinates, but it's usually just a list and directory of names. So the goal is to use Wikidata as a global gazetteer. There are gazetteers all over the world, many different countries, um, and they'll, they'll usually have pretty definitive information about that country. But uh, Wikidata is uh, really ideal for a global gazetteer. So, uh, you know, every place in the world um, with information about it. So why would we use Wikidata for this? There's really nothing like it. Um, there's, uh, there is GeoNames, which I'll uh, uh, talk about later. GeoNames is, a, uh, is attempting to do this. It's a, a global gazetteer, but there are sort of some uh, problems with uh, GeoNames that I'll, I'll bring up later. And Wikidata really does have a lot of more advantages um, over that. It's linked data, of course. So we're not just talking information about uh, place names and coordinates and geographic information. We're talking about linking to other entities, which is what gives, makes Wikidata so powerful. Uh, so, you know, you could link a uh, river or a suburb or a town to, 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 to the person it's named after or, say, what other geographic entity it's located in. Wikidata, of course, has the advantage of being multilingual, uh, hundreds of languages that you can, you can create labels and descriptions. Um, and so completely multilingual, you can generate multilingual maps using Wikidata. And uh, yeah, so th that's an incredibly powerful thing that most gazetteers in the world will only be in one or in the, you know, a local language. Um, Wikidata allows that to be in essentially any language. And of course, it's open data. So it's open source, free data you can download and use in whichever way you need to. So the goal is, uh, and the usual easiest way to start is to, uh, is to get detailed information about human settlements. Um, they're called the human settlement on Wikidata, uh, but they can have other various other names, uh, suburbs, localities, towns, cities, and so on. Uh, but it's usually a really good place to start because they're the most important uh, places to get uh, place names on. And you want to get a consistent set of information for each of those places in whichever country you're working on and eventually the entire world. Um, so an instance of saying what kind of geographic entity it is, as I said, a town, suburb, city, um, 
uh, or, or, or something else, you know, um, you know, a village, uh, anything, depends on the size, um, what country it's in, uh, the gazetted name or official name, but also you can include in the, in the uh, alternative names and the labels any other names that, uh, that exist. Um, the administrative territorial entity, usually that's a local government area or a county or um, some kind of uh, governed entity that uh, that, that uh, settlement is located within. Postal codes or zip codes um, and, uh, and coordinates. And then there's more additional information in addition to that core information that you should also include that is you know good a good idea to include uh, population for for a, a settlement or a um, uh, administrative area um, the area so in you know kilometers squared or some kind of a, you know idea of the the size um, of that uh, um, uh, settlement um, an image if possible and uh, ideally linking to uh, Wikimedia Commons category uh, electoral districts uh, this is quite uh, you know it's quite useful for people who do uh, like do a lot of work on elections in Australia, and uh, having an electoral district that each town or suburb or place is in, uh, and if, when it changed, uh, is very useful. And any identifiers available. Um, if you're if you have a statistical uh, body like the Bureau of Statistics in Australia, um, or a, a, another government, uh, you know, a, a, an official government gazetteer. Um, you can link those via these, uh, via any other identifiers that are available, but also not not a non-official ones. Uh, you know anything that, anything uh, where you can find more information, such as you know uh, Google the Google Knowledge Graph and so on. Um, so that's human settlements, but we I guess it here should ideally contain everything else as well. Um, so every other kind of geographic uh, thing or place or object that you have in your country. So rivers and streams, and if you include tributaries and uh, watercourse mouths, uh, which you can do in Wikidata, you can do some of that incredible work that uh, you both just mentioned and, uh, and Dennis mentioned in WikidataCon 2021, where you can do these incredible you know, hydrological analysis and hydrographic networks. Um, bodies of water, such as lakes um, and uh, you know, lakes, seas, and so on, dams and reservoirs, hills and mountains, including the elevation if you have it, uh, bays, other geological formations, uh, protected areas like national parks and, uh, and uh, natural nature reserves, and heritage sites, so they can be built heritage or natural heritage. Those are all really useful things to, to uh, get, get into Wikidata and link to the other places and uh, objects that they're related to. And of course, um, we've heard um, in the previous talk about OpenStreetMap, uh, and you know a lot of people who work with Wikidata will be aware of OpenStreetMap, and uh, and it's uh, you know how useful it is to to link. So Wikidata can link to OpenStreetMap um, using various Wikidata properties. Um, you can link to to uh, relations. You can link to ways. You can link to points um, in OpenStreetMap. Uh, but you can also uh, link to Wikidata from OpenStreetMap. Um, so OSM, one of the OSM attributes is a, is a Wikidata ID. You can also link to Wikipedia articles, but if you put the Wikidata ID in, it will actually link to the appropriate uh, Wikipedia articles because that's how uh, Wikidata works. And it also allows um, you to link map polygons. So Wikidata has a coordinate location um, property but uh, you could also link, if you link correctly to the um, OpenStreetMap object, uh, particularly for a relation such as a boundary, uh, you can, you can uh, link to that and it just makes it a lot easier to, to sort of uh, bring that up in a map. You can use that in, a, in Wikipedia, um, in a Wikipedia info box for example, you could do a map of the uh, border or boundary of a, of a country or a, a settlement and so on. And, uh, you know, that's, and that uh, comes about because of the link between OpenStreetMap and um, Wikidata. So importing, um, it, yeah, so there, is, there are some issues with importing due to the, the difference in licenses. Um, 
Wikidata's license is CC0, which is essentially public domain. And uh, OpenStreetMap has an ODBL, which is the Open Database License. Um, it does have attribution and share-alike provisions, um, similar to some of the Creative Commons licenses. But they're not necessarily compatible because if you were importing, I mean, if you, you could import from OSM to uh, Wikidata, um, you know, if you did the correct attribution. But um, Wikidata would not, but Wikidata does not comply with the ODBL. And uh, Wikidata to OSM, there are provenance issues. So the OpenStreetMap community is very, uh, um, you know, worried a bit about where the data in Wikidata or Wikipedia and so on has come from. So, um, yeah, it's usually, they usually want, it either has to be, uh, you know, the owner of the data either has to give permission and that that ODBL can be used and that any other license that OSM uses can be used. Um, and the, but the community consensus on OpenStreetMap is, is generally not to import from Wikipedia or Wikidata. However, as we've talked about a lot of linking, linking when you can link Wikidata and OpenStreetMap together, you don't necessarily need to do imports from one to the other. And, but there's some difficulties. So that's all the, the, uh, the, the goals of, uh, of uh, creating, of getting all this amazing information into Wikidata, but it is difficult. Um, comprehensive data may not be available. You both showed you, uh, you know, a lot of amazing government data. As I said, there are gazetteers, official government gazetteers around the world, but that doesn't happen everywhere. And, and sometimes, you know, statistics aren't available. Uh, census, you know, might be run every five years in some countries, but every 10 years or 20 years even in, in other countries. Um, even if that data is available, it might not be openly licensed and there might be issues with uh, importing it into Wikidata, um, so there might be a license which, uh, the license restriction which forbids that. Um, one of the biggest problems is reconciliation with existing items. So clearly um, a lot of people will have already put places, uh, you know, the, the town where they live and so on into, into Wikidata. So you can't really do a, a bulk import uh, because there'll be, you'll be creating a lot of duplicates and there'll be a lot of uh, um, if, you, if you just imported everything that was in uh, an official government gazetteer, uh, you would create a lot of duplicates. So you really have to use to reconcile the objects in Wikidata to work out uh, what is already in there and what isn't, what ha hasn't been put into Wikidata. Uh, where there are duplicates, um, sometimes they already exist uh, and uh, you, you should merge them in Wikidata, although just make sure they are actually the uh, identical entity, not two different entities with the same name or that are very close to each other. Um, in Wikimania, uh, um, I think of just about a month ago, uh, Wikimania 2023, I did a presentation called Duplicating Everywhere All at Once, uh, which was about the issue of duplicates um, in Wikidata that were caused by uh, bot created articles on some language editions of Wikipedia. Um, so bot created articles on, on some Wikipedias and then other bots created Wikidata items from the Wikipedia articles. Uh, the link's there if you, if you want to watch it. It was, um, the talk was about trying to uh, identify duplicate place names or objects in Wikidata that had been transferred from geo names where there were, where were a lot of duplicates. So yes, the bot, the bot that created the Wikipedia articles was using geo names which had a lot of duplicates and then those duplicates got transferred to, uh, to Wikipedia and then onto Wikidata. Um, in the talk I, I proposed using machine learning techniques such as clustering to uh, like a clustering algorithm to identify the duplicates. And then uh, I used the, the uh, Wikimedia API and uh, merging items in quick statements to, to merge them together. So I was trying not just to merge them in Wikidata, but also to merge them in the Wikipedias and, and then eventually let GeoNames know so they could merge, clean up their data in the GeoNames, which was the original source. And some other issues, uh, names, can be uh, names and other facts about uh, places can be controversial. They might be disputed by the, the local communities. 
they might be disputed by the uh, by your government uh, or they might be disputed by other countries so those things can be difficult uh, so maybe in those cases it's a good idea to just uh, you know go to Wikipedia where a lot of discussion takes place and, and see what they decide about what the the primary name should be because with Wikidata as we know you can only have sort of one primary label but you can have alternative names but Sometimes that alternative, you know, what that all that main label is 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 the problem. Um, there are also, you know, whether you use it official names, common names, or bilingual names. Uh, you know, there's some you know debates about that. And uh, linking to Wikipedia, so sometimes two different entities are in one article. You might have a town called Golden Bay, and you might have a, a bay called Golden Bay that was the town was named after. Um, they'll usually be in the same Wikipedia article. Um, they probably should be separate because they're really separate entities in Wikidata, but uh, then it just means one of them, the items, doesn't um, get linked to. Although you can, since uh, October 2022, you can link to redirects in, in Wikidata. And lastly, I just wanted to go through some, some cool projects and tools. Uh, and, and these are it's a very limited number. These are just ones I've been involved with uh, that I uh, really enjoyed working on. But there are many, many, many hundreds of, uh, of cool projects with Wikidata and places that are taking place. As I mentioned, the, the you know, sort of building hydrographic networks of rivers and so on. Um, uh, so there's many all over the world. And I think that's what we you know, want to get out of, uh, of uh, presentations like this and, and conferences like this is, is you know seeing what other communities are doing and uh, help and you know we can work together and um, get ideas so the first one is the um, Australian census tool um, so Wikimedia Australia uh, funded a, a developer uh, Maya Williams to develop a Lua module um, to retrieve the latest mo most recent population from Wikidata so in Australia, we hold a census every five years. Uh, the last one was done in uh, 20, 2020, 2021? Yeah, 2021. <laughs> and uh, so uh, we've got about 17,000 suburbs, towns, and so on that, uh, that would have a population in, in, in Wikipedia info boxes and in Wikidata. And uh, so this uh, tool was developed so that it automated the when we load the populations from the census, when they're released by the Australian Bureau of Statistics, uh, they, they will automatically appear in the, the info box if there's not already a, a, a population value in there. Uh, there's some more information about on the Wikimedia Australia blog if you're interested in, in how that was done and if it can be adapted for your, um, your uh, situation. And the other one is um, New Zealand cemeteries. This was a little, uh, a small team that uh, some friends of mine in New Zealand and, and, uh, and I worked on, uh, which was to, to uh, you know, Wikidata enthusiasts mapping every uh, cemetery in New Zealand. Um, and as you can see, that's the, that's the outcome, uh, you know, a, a map query of, uh, of every cemetery in New Zealand. It was, it was a huge number, um, the query links there. Um, yeah, that's just one of those, you know, like it's, not something you'd usually do, but it's just one of those things where we decided it would be useful to uh, genealogists and uh, uh, um, and other interested people. And it's one of those things that you can you know you can link to people where their their place of burial was in in uh, Wikidata and so on. So I'll just finish up with some um, recommendations uh, about um, you know how this can be done. Uh, as I said. Uh, one person can do it, it take, but it might take a long time. Um, I've, I do a lot of these projects on my own, but it's always a lot easier and it's a lot more fun when you have other people working with you. Um, so if you work with a, a team of, uh, of you know, enthusiasts, uh, interested Wikimedians, um, I recommend having a project page, whether it's on Wikidata or it could be on Wikipedia, but you know, if, it's a, if you're doing, working on Wikidata, it's a good idea to do it there just to track your progress, to discuss any issues, and just so that people can communicate and, and help each other out. And it also lets other people in, the, in, in other, other uh, communities, Wikidata communities, Wikimedia communities, to see uh, the work you're doing and how you're doing and how you're solving the problems. And set up a mix and match catalogue if you have an official uh, identifier for, you know, for a place or rivers and, and so on. 
uh, which just really helps you track, uh, you know, you track your progress and, and to reconcile existing items that are in Wikidata. So uh, thank you for your attention. And uh, uh, yes, uh, let's get in touch. As I said, I'm Canley on uh, Wikimedia Projects and Metacortex on Mastodon and Twitter slash X. Okay, thanks Alex for his speech. Our next speaker will be Michael Dean. Please come on stage. He was uh, speaking at Examen's Wikidata project as a source of knowledge and preserving of local language. This is one is uh, for the language issue. Let's uh, welcome him. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Michael Laksmanalim. Uh, I'm from Indonesia. Uh, it is I want to share about uh, Wikidata Lexum as a source of knowledge and preservation of local language. Now, that's we know Indonesia is a diverse country. And Indonesia has more than 300 ethnic group. More personally, there are uh, one, three, four, one, one, one thousand three hundred forty tribes. And Indonesia has uh, six hundred five to a uh, local language. And of the six hundred five to local languages, it. T language from Eastern Indonesia are turned with extensions, and you can uh, look in the link. One of the source is Indonesian. Now, in Wikidata Lexum, we have uh, more information. This project it's Wikidata Lexum growth uh, pickle data and. Uh, in this project, we hope to uh, the local language uh, in the world or in the Taiwan or in Indonesia, we can uh, preservation the local language or the dialect language. Okay, this is my background. Uh, I'm student in Indonesia. Uh, it is uh, the project uh, in Indonesia is Wikibras Tagi. We come to the museum uh, and we take the photos uh, at the item in Wikidata. Maybe that museum don't have uh, G Maps, Google Map, uh, so they know. To we come to the place we don't know uh, the the way. Nah. After that, uh, in Indonesia, we have a disc, a discuss lexem bersama, or in English, dis discuss a lexem together. Uh, this is we we have the speaker from Indonesia and from Malaysia about the Wikidata lexem. Now, this is my project in Wikidata lexem is uh, example in Indonesia language. It's a uh, camel. Uh, it is unta in Indonesian language. An example of language in Malay language uh, is unta, and their uh, right side is Malaysian Arabic script. Uh, and this example of lexem in Minangkabau language is unto. So unta or to unto. Okay. Uh, now, it is how to con count the number of entry in a language. Maybe uh, we want to count uh, Taiwanese language or we want to uh, count the English language in Wikidata. Uh, it is the Wikidata query service. So we can know uh, the lexum in English lexum maybe 
1,000 uh, lakh sum or Indonesian, uh, we have uh, 300 lakh sum in Wikidata. Now, this is my order activities. is a replica of the Sultan Serdang's place, museum, and tomb of the Sultan Serdang in North Sumatra, Indonesia. And this is my other related activities in Jakarta, Jakarta Cathedral Museum. This I uh, have a story about the missionary uh, come to Indonesia, come to Jakarta. And this is my other related activities with Wikimedia Malaysia. Uh, this month, to uh, this Wikikata Bahasa Mandarin, Wikikata Bahasa Mandarin, and Photo Walk Terengganu State Museum with Wikimedia Malaysia. Uh, this is a research in Silau Laut Village, Asahan Regency, North Sumatra, Indonesia, in with my university. Uh, I'm a uh, department of Malay language, Malay literature in Indonesia. So we uh, add the uh, vocabulary in Malay Asahan, the dialect Malay Asahan. And we add the history about the uh, Sultan from Asahan. Sultan is king uh, in Malay after that. Uh, mungkin uh, maybe uh, that's all for me. Uh, I say thank you. Come see ya, Shusha. Okay, our next speaker will be Dudi. He will present uh, the cosplay topic because he think cosplay is much more a way to approach other kind of a person that the Wikimedia ecosystem is like. Uh, let's uh, welcome Dodi for his speak. Hello, hello. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dodi, I'm from Wikimedia Malaysia and today I will be presenting about Wikidata for cosplay in ACG world. ACG is animation, cosplay and games. So before I start, I would like to give my biggest thank to Wikimedia Malaysia, especially Dennis, uh, Ellen, Joyce, uh, okay. Um, I'm Dodi, I'm, Do I'm, the, I'm the president and the founder for the Wikimedia Malaysia user group. Uh, okay, a bit of my background. I'm a Wikimedia editor. Uh, like everyone else, um, I started to edit a Wikimedia project from English Wikipedia in 2009, but today I will focus more on Wikidata. So I started to edit Wikidata in 2013. Uh, so far, 40,000 edits and 1,600 new pages. Uh, within the Malaysia user group, um, I founded the user group back in 2017 and I have arranged around 35 meetups around Malaysia. Wikimedia conferences, uh, I've participated in several conferences before in Germany, Thailand, Serbia, and the recent one, Singapore, uh, a couple of months ago. Okay, uh, I'm electrical engineer by profession, a bachelor and master degree in power engineering from the University of Sydney, Australia. Uh, I'm the member of Engineers Australia and IEEE, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. I attended a conferences by Harvard University in Taipei uh, 13 years ago, and I've published some paper, technical paper publication in Singapore, Hong Kong, and Japan. So, why I speak about the, the serious side of myself because after this I will speak about the not so serious side of myself. So, so just to know that this is a serious presentation although the topic is, I try to make it very fun. So I'm also a cosplayer. Um, I've been a guest cosplayer, guest singer, uh, received some awards and become a cosplay competition judge in some of the events mostly in Malaysia and some in Indonesia. 
So this was me uh, as a cosplayer from 2030 characters. If you, if you know any of this, raise your hand. Apparently no one knows. Oh, okay. There are some of you. Okay, next. Okay, so basically why I want to bring this topic, the current challenges. Um, most of the Wikimedia topics is a bit too much um, academic related, research related culture, history, languages, geography. I don't say it is bad, but as, as our motto say, uh, what Di diversity. So we need to include the serious one and then the not so serious one, including the, the nerd ones. Um, and also, um, people who attend Wikimedia events, conferences, we can say around 70 or 80 percent are the same people again and again. I don't say it is bad, uh, it means the retention is good in a way, but then for the sake of continuity, um, for the future, for the sustainability, we need to have a big portion of the newbies as well. Um, it cannot be, newbies cannot be the minority, newbies should be at least 30 to 50 percent uh, all the time for the sake of continuing this project in the future. So, okay, we need to change this stigma and image because at the same time, Many young people are into social media to become a content creator, uh, make videos in YouTube, uh, make photos in Instagram. Technology is never a really a problem. Language is never really a problem. You know, to become a streamer, to make a YouTube video, it takes months, it takes money, it takes teamwork, it takes video editing, it takes some language programming, timing, um, a Photoshop skill, all these things take skill, but yet people are willing to do it voluntarily within their passion. So to say that, okay, we need to really make Wikimedia project as user-friendly as possible, probably it's, it's one way to answer the shortage of why not so many newbies joining our project. But then at the same time, if we try to make this as an interesting platform, people will do it automatically without will us keep phone speeding them. So it has to be both ways. Uh, because as you can see here, this is one, one ACG event in Johor, Malaysia. You can see there are hundreds and thousands of attendees and we have events for almost every single weekend. And there are um, statistically at least 20 to 20,000 people are coming and then hundreds of people uh, are dressing up in cosplay and then dressing up is not just dressing up you need to do the styling the makeup um, um, you join the competition you need to learn the the movement the mimic the 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 story the plot line there are a lot of things to do to prepare just for this kind of like uh, world environment okay next because as you Okay, so like I said before, um, this is us. Throughout the year, we are more or less the same. But then for the ACG world, cosplay world, we have more number, although it is seasonal depending on the year, uh, on what month of the year, school holiday or winter break probably more. Okay, this is, uh, we, we superimpose this um, superposition. As we can see here, the number is way more than the Wikimedia community. So if we can take some portion of this ACG community, let's say like the baseline, the constant number within our Wikimedia community, we can increase our average number of the people, probably like 20-30%, like that's a huge increase. So we need to really see this untapped market. Okay, next. Okay, so what we have done in Malaysia for this. Okay, we have had several meetups in, in Johor. Johor is a row four, uh, uh, one of the state in Malaysia. So basically, this is the very first meetup that we introduced that Wikimedia can be fully used in the ACG world. It was in December 2021. And then in Kuala Lumpur, Jilongpo, um, another event, a more or less similar event, but we, particip uh, we opened a booth, we participated in a local SUG event. Next. Okay, in another in Kuala Lumpur, um, 
um, uh, Wikipedia, Wikimedia presentation, I dress up as Saint Seiya, if you know that, that, uh, that, that movie 20, 20, 30 years ago. And also during the 22nd birthday of Wikipedia, which happened early this year, January 2023, we participated um, uh, in, a, in a local ACG event, and then we bring in the cosplayer. Uh, as you can see here, this is uh, from Demon Slayer. This is from Genshin Impact, the, the, the star, if you play Genshin Impact game. Next one. And so this is the recent one, happened last month. So basically, if you know this, this character behind Wikipitan, so we bring her to real life with a Wikipitan cosplayer after a long hiatus. And then, okay, this is the, for the maid, for the butler, it's me and my colleague. So even the, the Wikipitan, we try to make a, a, a multi uh, uh, inclusive Wikipedia, the, the, the one with the wig, the one with the hijab version. Um, okay, so next. Okay, so within that three days, the, even the Wikipedia, we, 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 we dress her up with, with Malaysia traditional dress on day one, the, the standard Wikipedia maid dress, and then the school uniform dress. Just to cover all, all, all aspect of of the society. So this is our backdrop uh, in our exhibition to sh uh, to promote that. Okay, this is Wikimedia Malaysia, uh, Wikipedia as the main figure, Wikimedia Malaysia, and then how many meetups we have made, how many articles we have created, and with all of the meetups uh, we have made around the around the country and some of the the international conferences we participated in, in Serbia, in Germany, this one with the Ukraine embassy, with the ambassador, this is with Jimmy Wales, uh, and this is in, in Bangkok, Thailand. Mm. Okay, next. Okay, so what have we been doing online uh, to, to make this a uh, reality? Okay. For Wikimedia projects, uh, as we all know, there's a conflict of interest, kind of like manual of style rule in Wikipedia that you're not allowed to write about yourself, your company, your group, your everything, your, your family. But not in Wikimedia Commons, Wikiquote, and Wikidata. As far as I know, I'm not sure whether the rule has been updated, but do, do correct me if, if, if I'm wrong. So we, um, for this ACG, we focus on the cosplayers and cosplay event because most of the time when people uh, came to us, came to me, especially 90% of the time they will always ask, hey Dodi, can you write a Wikipedia article about myself, about my company, about my group? I mean, come on, I mean, first of all, there's a conflict of interest, and then we are not a service provider, uh, sorry. Um, and then let's not focus on Wikipedia, because Wikimedia is, is more than just Wikipedia. We have, we have so many other projects, and then for you to be more noticeable on the internet, Actually, Wikidata is the key, not Wikipedia. And then you can play around more in Wikidata because there is no COI, conflict of interest. So for that, to go to Wikidata, first we go to the Wikimedia Commons. Okay. Yeah, next. Okay. Um, like cosplay event or CEG event in Malaysia, we have, we have based on, I mean, um, we have ACG events, let's say, like in this category is anime convention in Kuala Lumpur as part of the anime convention in Malaysia, including in other Asian countries, in Japan, in Taiwan. So with this, we fully document events, every single event uh, in the ACG event, and then we can easily make a category in Wikimedia Commons because it's almost impossible to do this in Wikipedia, but in Wikimedia Commons, it's completely okay. And this can be a really huge knowledge database for those uh, event organizers dealing, uh, doing these ACG related events. Or you can expand it into other non ACG events, let's say like musical, sports, um, scientific uh, conferences, events. Okay, so one of the events uh, which has the Wiki, Wikipedia cosplayer just now is called the NoizuCon, the NoizuCon 2023. Um, it, it was organized in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia uh, last month uh, or early this month. So even for this event, we 
we can create the wiki data page and then link it to its Wikimedia Commons category. So as long as you have more than one photo, okay, you upload it to Wikimedia Commons, name it properly, have the category, link it to Wikidata, then we have a, this display of page. Next. Um, another example is uh, Cosplay Mega Gathering, uh, an ACG event in the state of Johor, Malaysia. With this, we can we can really interlink so many information. The subcategory, we can say that, I mean, who are the cosplayers attending this event to become the subcategory for this? And the parent category for this event is the venue in what, in what uh, let's say, shopping center or convention center. So the venue, we can have the its wiki, wiki data page linked to its Wikimedia Commons page. And then part of that, we can see this uh, that there is this event held at that venue in which um, this is the subcategory of that event uh, showing what are the cosplayers coming to that event. So cosplay of what character, what character, what character. So we, we name it uh, properly, um, the full name of the character and then the full name of the event. Okay, um, from those cosplayers, uh, we, can, we can build up uh, uh, the category for individual cosplayer and then we categorize that into within the cosplayers from Malaysia. Next. Okay, uh, one of the, the cosplayer in Malaysia, um, we, we take photo of her in various characters, so cosplay of I mean, she liked the cosplay Genshin Impact, so there are many several characters of Genshin Impact, so we name it focus first on what character she is cosplaying, so to show that this has become an animation database instead of focusing uh, on her herself as, 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 as an individual. So, that's why, so that we can minimize the conflict of interest and maximizing the anime-related knowledge database. So this is kind of like a more acceptable approach in Wikimedia Commons and in Wikidata. Okay, uh, to add a little bit more on the Wikiquote part. There is no COI in Wikiquote, so if people want to start, um, from the Wikimedia Commons, there is a photo um, uh, uploaded, and then some, some basic uh, description, and then some quotes, of course, taken from online, uh, online sources, uh, not, not from social media, not from blogs. Uh, like for this example, it's a Yu Ji Koi, it's a cosplayer from, from Vietnam. Even the, the category, we write um, cosplayers, women from Vietnam, because it's the, there's not enough content inside cosplayers from Vietnam yet, so we, we move one up to its parent category. And next. Okay, so how this all linked to Wikidata? So from, from that photo, okay, first of all, Yujiko is a Vietnam representative for the World Cosplay Summit, WCS 2017, so she herself is a, a bit more or less notable person. Um, we have her name, we have her photo, which is part of the NoizuCon uh, Wikimedia Commons category. Uh, we have her wiki quote, and then after um, the, her English wiki quote has been created, someone else translated into the Igbo uh, language code IG wiki quote, and then we categorize, uh, we link her Wikimedia Commons category page in her wiki data page. Um, of course, you, you can check uh, at this at, at this Wikidata page uh, identifier. Okay, so how everything is interlinked? She herself. Uh, this is this is her. Uh, what do you call it? Wiki, the Q, QID. I, I forgot the name. Wikidata. I. What's the name? The Q identifier item. A uh, Wikipedia. A uh, Wikimi. Wikidata item. Um, she has the wiki code in English, in Igbo language, Wikimedia Commons category. And then her photo is part of the Noizu 2023 Wikimedia Commons um, Wikidata uh, 
Q uh, identifier, and then this part is uh, uh, the noise zone 2023 is part of the larger noise cone name in general of that event the, with this identifier, Wikidata identifier, and then within her photos in her comments category, um, the one she dressed up is a character called Nikki uh, from Goddess of Victory. So this is one photo. This one photo of her is part of the cosplay of Goddess of Victory Nikki in Wikimedia Commons, and this is part of the Goddess of Victory Nikki uh, Wikimedia Commons uh, uh, category page, which has its own wiki data. So even as as simple as one photo, it has what four interlink uh, wiki data item to to say that even as simple as a very simple item in a cosplay world if you linked it properly completely everything is is interlinked so it's not just as simple as a dumping any random random fun um, fun photo which has no knowledge if you dig deeper the beauty of wikidata is everything is interrelated one happened because of the other, one is interlinked be, uh, because of the other. Okay, next. Okay, so yeah, so basically this is me with her in, in that event. So yeah, to show that I was really at the event. Okay, so back in time, uh, 1985, there is this movie called Thundercats. If any of you know Thundercats? Yes, yes, okay. Um, the the main the main guy uh, is this one Lino. So why I want to show this because the next slide is okay. So this is the cosplayer of Lino. I'm not going to say who this is. Uh, you figure that out yourself. So Lino, um, uh, this is the the uh, why, why I always keep forgetting. This is the. Q QID, QID in Wikidata. Uh, Lino is an um, example of a um, uh, fictional character, if I'm not mistaken. And then it has properties armament, it uses what, and then what's the enemy, and then what co hair color it has. So these are the properties um, currently uh, uh, available in Wikidata. So let's say the ar armament or the weapon is Sword of Omens, it has its Wikidata. Uh, entry, uh, Wikidata ID, this is the Sword of Omens. Uh, it uses what? Claw Shield. This is the Claw Shield. It has its Wikidata entry. Who is the enemy? Mamra. It's not showing here, but he is the, the, the living mummy with a, with a red, red, red scarf, red dress. And it, what, hair, what hair color does he has? Red hair. This is, uh, of course, uh, available in Wikidata. Uh, and the hair is red, of course. So even from one single photo, we can we can have these four data to explain what this is. Next. So playing around with Wikidata query. If I have the red color week for cosplay, just now for the lion, no, I have one week at home, red color, and I'm sort of um, sort of like I don't enough. I don't have enough money. Uh, I haven't received my salary at the end of the month. Uh, but I still want to cosplay another ev another character because this coming weekend there's a SEG event in Taipei, Petit Fancy or Fancy Frontier. If if you know, I will go there. If so, let's meet up over there uh, to have a, a continuous discussion after this. Um, okay. Um, to to do query in Wikidata. Um, for a uh, red wig, um, the question is, what other character that I can, I can dress up by having this red wig? So you play around by setting up the instances of fictional character, and then the hair color, uh, red hair, and then you do the simple query. By right, I mean, if people, if people fully update the Wikita database, people will see this character, I, uh, Lino from Thundercats, red hair, Ariel from The Little Mermaid, red hair, Mystic from X Men, red hair, Black Widow, red hair. Um, I'm not talking about the gender. I mean, this is a gender gender neutral uh, search, so it can be both guys and girls. Next, okay. So, with that kind of same approach, another example is let's say I have 
I bought this red boot, red shoe color from eBay, very expensive, imported from outside Malaysia. And then what character I can, I can use by, by having this red boot? Okay, by red, it should be Superman, Captain Planet, and Sailor Moon, because these three share the same red boots. So one red boot can be used for three different characters. The rest, of course, I mean, you, you need to buy your own spandex, dress up, and then this is another long uh, yellow wig. So these three characters has the same similarity. They all use red boot. So if we can develop um, um, a future Wikidata property, such as shoe color, or maybe dress color, dress color, let's say, of course, uh, it's, a, it's a, the majority color of the dress is either blue dress, yellow dress, white dress, and maybe glove color. This is red gloves, this is white gloves. We can have more query of playing around on what are the character, what are the fictional character uses, what color, what type of dressing, and then how can it uh, uh, mix together, mismatch, uh, what can be combined, what, what kind of um, individual item that I can use for several multiple times. By having this fully query uh, being developed in Wikidata, and actually that's, that's the that's a, a awesome thing to have. Um, so okay, so he, if he has a red boot, no, not red boot, red boot. Uh, so he uh, he or she can cosplay as Superman, Captain Planet, or Sailor Moon. Next. So yeah, if we can have this full database in terms of the of the of the dressing, we can make Wikidata as the as the database for all the cosplayers, and then what they want to cosplay in the future. Um, what are the characters available with some particular color, with some particular shape? So that's kind of awesome, isn't it? So okay, I believe that's the uh, that's all from me. I'm I'm Dodi, and uh, you can contact me here or in or during the Petit Fancy, Fancy Frontier next week. So, okay, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, thanks Dudi for his uh, speech about cosplay. Now we welcome all the speaker come to stage and have a seat on the stage. We'll open the floor for the on-site and or online um, questions and answers. Okay. Choose randomly or okay. Is there anyone uh uh Shin Chai won't you? You know, Fawan Ho Si Yo don't have a ping run ma Dishangshima. 水土保持那我很有兴趣是特别提到南恒公路那个民报刻录桥因为其中你有一个PT那我一直在想一个问题 那我刚才就是你因为你你谢谢你提到那个龙春发那个平台技术研究平台我就上网去找它里面提供很多我很感谢就是很多的资料然后很多的研究那因为台湾是一个它的地理环境很特别波斗流级那我们的水土保持一直
的一个结合，我们怎样子减减减少我们的灾害？这是第一个问题。第二个问题，我想请教那个澳洲的学者，就是呃呃 ，because 呃、uh, ，sorry because you talking about open open stream map, I just wonder if could you please sub uh provide some sample about the open stream map in Australia. I'm just wondering, very curious. I, I know your Australia is a very big country. Uh, suppose the open stream connect, we, uh, we keep data supposed to doing very well. Just wondering, could you provide some sample for us to know about, about the final uh, open stream is doing now in Australia? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, another question about the over over people. Because in Taiwan now we divide uh, some uh, we um, data about the Aboriginal people. How about in Australia? Uh, have we produced some data about the Aboriginal people? Thank you very much. Okay, the first question for Yobo, and then second for the Alex. First, Yobo. 好，那我这边先简单呃摘要式的先回复呃这边提到的一个问题哦。其实，呃，这个是一个非常大的防灾领域上的一个呃大灾问。那其实，呃，很多时候只是呃民众这边其实没有相关的背景知识的时候，你会哎会觉得好像呃事情一直在发生，或者是说。呃，某些时候或许媒体切入的面向不一样，那么我们民众可能就会有一些误解。那这个并不是说我本身有在公务机关服务，所以我就这样子去讲话。在我还没有服务之前，我也是哎、欸、各种追求理想，我也是去。街头很多议题有抗争过，有在那边骂东骂西的。但是呢，其实呃，在进入服务或者说进去了解这个架构之后，它很多的前提，并不是像一些资料上面提的一直发生，或者说工程没有效。或是哎、欸，很笼统的说，台湾地址很破碎。它其实每一句话背后都有一个专门的领域。以民霸克路桥来说，它因为非常的重要，包括它是唯一的大型连通道路。那但是呢，很重要，但那边又难以去克服它的地形条件。呃，口译这边有可能会有一点跟不上，但是我中文的部分我尽量先去提。那边是一个老农溪跟布坦布纳斯溪的交汇口，那并且在过去，其实我用我们在研究上，从二零一零年甚至到呃莫拉克到二零一七年中间，它有很多的崩塌地，它有很多的土石料源，其实是堆积在老农溪的中上游，并且它的对面是布坦布纳斯溪，它有一个大型极大的冲击扇去挤压主流。导致河道它会改变。那过去公路总局它做做的桥，其实可以到呃甲仙公务段去找它的资料。其实它只是一个超强的临时便桥，但是它因为很重要，所以在政治上其实大家讨论完的资源配置，就还是决定说。呃，它的重要性，我们还是去那边建了桥。可是刚刚提到这些灾害的自灾因子跟它的启动机制，其实都还停留在那边。那在它被冲毁的时候，其实它上游在玉穗溪，它那边还有一个很大的一个崩塌。即便是现在，它上面有很多的残留料源，导致说它衍生出来的土石流灾害。或是所谓的高含沙水流，就是有很多水跟松软沙石冲出来的情况，跟当时的启动情况已经不一样。现在可能是降雨量两 m m 到十 m m 它累积完之后，它就会冲出来。
，但是以当时来说，它可能在中上游会有一个烟色湖的一个淤积分段冲出来，哦，所以说即便是同一个地方。在我们用研究的角度跟材料去看的时候，我们会发现，我们会持续发现它有很多不同的因素跟原因。这个是以当当下的一个情况。那退退出来看来说，其实防灾领域有非常多的机关跟研究选者，或是像灾防办呃灾害防救办公室 NCD 啊，它其实有很多的东西一直在去做这方面的研究。对于民众来说，呃，用既有的经验，或者是媒体的角度很好，但媒体的角度它往往涵盖的范围不够，所以如果不是这个领域的人，可能在进来探讨很多很笼统的结论的时候，你会。觉得哎、欸，这个东西解决不出来，为什么好像每年都花钱一直工程，然后台湾地质破碎或干嘛？可是，在我们来说，我们有更多的计划，更多的专案，包括我们明年在当时明巴克鲁桥出现灾害，那机关这一边有在推动新的业务去克服一些问题。那针对这一些特殊的东西。其实需要去学会那个领域，用比较不同的角度去看，你就会发现刚刚提的，其实它呃没有那么简单，但是也没有那么的，好像都没有效益。对，那当然这个比较细节部分，可能是待会会再提到。那我先做一个简单的结论，则是说。呃，这些东西防灾的东西是一直有人在做，也有实际的业务在推动，没有错。但是他做不到的地方，呃，其他领域或者是媒体的角度，或者是以我个人的经验来说，我们台湾如果以军事的角度，我们自己有当过兵吗？我们目前其实是属于交战状态，而且有一个国际敌对政权在进行资讯战，对我们进行干扰。我讲的是文献上的描述，跟我个人的意见哦、喔。所以这些东西，它会误导你，用很多可能的方式去挑拨离间。那因为这些东西。一直有资源，一直有人在尝试做事去解决问题。那当然，有些他暂时可以克服，有些可能没办法克服。但是没办法克服跟缺点被放大了之后，就好像哎、欸，他好像都没有做到，都有很多问题吗？其实事实上不是这样。啊，那目前可能就是先解释到这边。对，那可以投入的地方包括防灾专员、志工，还有很多社区，甚至是呃防灾教育，它有很多面向，其实都有在执行，也都有一般民众可以了解跟呃投入自己的一些时间的合作的地方。好，那我先回答到这边，会后有兴趣，待会可以再提一下。Thanks. And Australia, OpenStreetMap. Yep. Uh, so, uh, OpenStreetMap in Australia. Um, uh, I think uh, quite recently the um, you know that's a very Australia is doing very well. Partly because um, there's a lot of um, interest from from government to release um, open data. You know that can be imported and and other um, entities too. For example, uh, Microsoft released uh, building outlines for every building in Australia. Um, so I guess that needs you know people to to do that import uh, and you know make sure it doesn't overwrite you know go on top of other <laughs> buildings. Like it's the same problem we have with Wikidata. You know, where, where if you import something, are you uh, you know overwriting or you know duplicating something that's already there? So. Um, yeah, but um, but there is a lot of interest in in company from countries like Microsoft, and uh, and you know Australian governments, state governments, and the federal government to sort of release data like address data and street names and so on under open licenses um, and and give permission for those to be used in OpenStreetMap. Um, I guess before that, uh, you know, there was a sort of quite a thriving, small but thriving community which was uh, you know 
cycling around with GPS on their bicycles and so on, and you know, sort of mapping streets that way. Um, and so I guess it's a combination of that of that sort of community, uh, uh, but using uh, openly licensed data that's uh, that's starting to become available. Um, and and uh, means Australia now has a very sort of uh, uh, you know yeah, yeah quite a comprehensive um, set of. Uh, data on OpenStreetMap and, and as I said the linking to, to Wikidata and Wikipedia and Wikimedia projects is, uh, is also increasing all the time so that's a, it's a really good thing. Um, I, uh, I think I mentioned it on the slide but I didn't actually talk about it but you can actually do a federated query, um, you know you can do a Sparkle query that, uh, that actually searches Wikidata and OpenStreetMap and sort of joins them together. So. Um, yeah, so that, that sort of shows the benefit of that. Um, your other question about um, uh, indigenous, uh, uh, I guess, you know, geography, particularly in Australia. Uh, yes, it's, a, it's very difficult, as I'm sure it is, uh, you know, <laughs> in uh, many places around the world. Um, uh, sort of our, our Australia's indigenous people, First Nations people, um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. Um, they're... Uh, they have a, they're about th uh, over 300 languages, so I think that that sort of makes it you can't just sort of have a uh, you know one sort of name that is the the indigenous name uh, for, for something. It's uh, you know there there are many many languages, so it's you know that sort of thing can be very difficult to to choose, and there there could be overlaps between different peoples and different languages and what they call a particular area. Um, so yeah, there's there's probably no definitive argument there. Uh, there's also the issue of data sovereignty. Like it's very important that that uh, First Nations and Indigenous people have sort of sovereignty and ownership over their their data, uh, their their language, their you know their what they you know, yeah data and language and so on things like that. So um, it's it's important to do that even with good intentions. You know people can sort of kind of force these things onto them or into you know import things that that it's probably not appropriate to do that. Um, and yeah, and, and, and sort of there's also the things that carry on from, from Wikipedia, like uh, there are, um, you know, there was sort of some people would put, uh, you know, a, a, an indigenous name for a, a city, like, uh, you know, they'd put the, the Budwarung name for Melbourne Nam or the Gadigal name for Sydney, uh, Gadi, or the uh, uh, Noongar name for Perth, Bolu or something, and, and uh, they put that in the Wikipedia article. Um, and there are some people who are very, very, you know, like adamant that that's not appropriate. They're saying it doesn't match, you know, that area that was called that, uh, you know, 200 years ago was not, uh, you know, does not correspond to the statistical area or something like that. So there's huge arguments taking place uh, about about that, and it's quite unfortunate. But uh, you know, it, it just seems like a harmless bit of information that uh, you know is interesting and but some people have very strong opinions on it so um, uh, yeah not as I said not really particularly related to Wikidata but sort of kind of can be because of the, the arguments that take place on Wikipedia about it. Thanks for his answer and we have an online question from our YouTube channel. The Green Weeper asks Dudi, so please help uh, pass the mic to Dudi that have you ever considered to make your own wiki base that you can avoid that sometimes there's not a suitable properties on Wikidata? Wiki base? Yeah, uh, build your own wiki base website to host your uh, cosplay the database. So far I never think of that because first of all it takes time, it takes effort and then I mean I'm a, I'm a full-time electrical engineer and and uh, I do Wikimedia, Wikimedia Foundation projects um, during my free time. So even this thing takes most of my takes up most of my free time. So instead of okay, there 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 might be some area in which uh, Wikimedia projects cannot cannot really give hundred percent to this ACG community. But then, for what we have already in in Wikimedia projects. It's it's more than more than good enough already. The, if you wanna do more than that, there are already so many platforms: the YouTube, um, the the streaming apps, uh, the the Instagram, which gives more for personal development, um, as in like building um, self image, self branding. But then to build a ACG world based on 
um, database based on knowledge sharing, I believe um, Wikimedia Projects is 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 the place. So to create to create my own uh, what, wiki wiki base, it's either uh, redundant or it can never um, um, it uh, those existing social media or streaming platform is is way better already than that. So. I try to focus on, I mean, as a Wikimedia editor, I just try to focus on what we can maximize from any existing uh, Wikimedia projects within the existing rules and regulation or manual of style of Wikimedia projects. Questions for on-site or online? Okay. Thank谢谢我们有两个问题哦第一个问题想请问那个第一位speaker就是水港署的那个林专员您怎么想到其实我们来之前我们是没有想到我们既然有一个政府机关把一个机关的图跟我们的全面wikidata,wikipedia整个
文字就放在 P D 啊，然后流通格式用 Schema 打 O 格。那其实对我们自己业务来说是比较没有提到，像对我们自己来说，农村水保署现在的开放资料当然跟着农业部往上走。那我们的基础调查资料、数值资料、跟监测资料、跟图像图资，我们是放在基础资料平台。然后我们有独立一个 UAV 的资料平台，是光学影像。那我们另外做孔径雷达跟内政部的 DEM 这些，我们放在可能我们自己的研究资料库，或者是多元影像卫星。那并且我们有自己的一个图台，所以我们自己里面内部的系统其实也有分成 GIS 资料。跟数值，呃，数值的文字跟文字资料，包括我们还有像工程管理的资料、坡地管理、出版物管理，跟我们自己的官方网站，还有查询的服务资料。那这两种资料，我们也有自己的图台展示啊，以及图像型的独立资料，就是历史影像平台。所以，像我们自己政府机关跟我们的主管，目前我们的组长陈振宇组长，他其实当年在规划的时候就有尝试去结合这种一纸资料，呃，类比的，呃，类比像类比的 REST 的资料，向量的 Vector 资料 ，GIS 的形态的资料，跟文字、数值、图像的资料，然后他们分别有不同的技术、不同的结合、不同的应用。这个是同时，为什么我们会提协作？跟我们其实一直有在做，政府也有在做，商业也会也持续的在做，比如说呃外包，然后联盟做组合，以及跟我们技术社群，纯技术社群，其实我们自己做 side project 或是我们自己做 NGO 也会有遇到这种情况，所以其实三个领域产官学研究就不用讲，它一直有相关的一些研究。其实都是在同一个方向上去探讨如何协作，那只是说三种角色，我们去克服这个问题的方法跟路径不太一样，其实概念上是一样的。那当然，在数发部，其实目前我们的数位基础建设更成熟之后，我们会有更多不同的解决方案。那包括我们在呃推动上，其实也会有。不同的一些解决方式，啊，目前现阶段或者是简单介绍来说，其实它，嗯，就是大概发展上，然后大家其实一直有在朝向这个方向发展，然后跟它概念上相似的地方，跟因为角色而有一些不同的地方，大概简介到这边，对啊，然后后续也是有兴趣可以持续联系或者是做一些互动跟研究这样，嘿，我先简介到这边，谢谢。Okay, the second question is for Dudi. Okay. So the question was how how did I get the idea? Okay, I have to, uh, first of all I have to give a big credit to Australia where I did my master degree in power engineering. I thought when I continue my master degree I would I would be studying more technical stuff, but then in reality Australian society is so diverse, so open, so. so you can find from A to Z. So even studying engineering, I joined the Malaysian Society, Taiwanese Society, International Society, Asian Society, the, the Anime Club Society. So I learned how to see things from various different point of view, from, 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 so, many, from so many different aspects. So even being, being an, an engineer, you can do so many things, and it's, it's widely practiced all over there because of that. Um, uh, in my earlier presentation, uh, I wrote a three technical paper uh, published. The first one was part of my final year project during my bachelor degree. But secondly, uh, the other two, I write it in my own personal capacity, not part of my school, not part of my work. I, I, I write it doing my own research. I publish it in uh, IEEE International Conferences instead of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. And then one of the topic is how to combine power engineering education with Wikipedia, uh, with a case study of electricity sector in Taiwan. The other case, I submit a technical paper in Macau, but then it was rejected because it's not probably not deep enough. So with this kind of approach, it's all about trial and error. You 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 have a new idea, you submit it, um, uh, it gets rejected. Okay, you need to work it out. It gets accepted. Okay, you can go deeper. Same um, with Wikipedia. The very first time, let's say I take a, a logo of. National Taipei University, and I upload to Wikimedia Commons. It gets deleted straight away because it is a, 
um, copyright violation. Uh, but if I make that logo as an insignificant part of a photo, then it can be accepted because there is a rule of the, the de minimis. Uh, so um, when I take photo of a party, uh, of a people in the public in a particular country, it gets accepted, uh, especially in Taiwan. I do it in, let's say, like Mongolia, when there is no freedom of panorama, it gets deleted. So from there, I learned that there is this rule called freedom of panorama. So as I experiment uh, uh, around, try to do things uh, more and more new things. Some get accepted, some get rejected, probably like the re rejection ratio around 30 to 40 percent. So I know what kind of the area I can focus and I can further develop. So I like, I'm an electrical engineer, but then at the same time I, I edit Wikipedia and I'm a cosplayer. So I was thinking, okay, I've, I've written so many, so many articles about Taiwan. Um, those who, who know me in English language uh, wiki project Wiki Project Taiwan, I, I wrote about 1,800 articles about Taiwan in English Wikipedia. Uh, but then outside that, in Wikimedia Commons and Wikidata, I try to focus more on, on different, the different sector of, different area of topic for this cosplay. So it's all about trial and error. Uh, be, be brave to be different. Um, of course, at the beginning, you will feel a bit uncomfortable whether your, uh, your idea can be accepted or not. But then, I mean, that's, that's how you grow. That's how you, you learn new things. In, in Sydney last time, I joined the Taiwanese Society. My Mandarin was so poor, so I, I, I joined them. But then I was the only one who doesn't understand what they are talking about. But then slowly, uh, because of that, um, it pushed me to, to learn more and more. Uh, and then you will get Im improved. You will know what is accepted, what is not accepted, what is ac partially accepted, and then you need to do fine tuning. So it's all about yeah, be be there to try new things, and then as l as time passes by, you will learn the rules more and more uh, deep and detail, and you can actually see there are so many rooms for improvement in which none of the people have ever done before. So be ready to be different first. So you don't really follow what the majority has been doing. You try your own idea. You try what you're good at. What you try what you think you, you can be the best of it. And then let, let, let's see and see how people accept it and then and do b based on the existing rules and regulation. Okay, thanks Duty for his, his response. And for Duty as an example, the Wikimedians are quite talents. So I have to uh, say that Dudi is also a good singer for Japanese anime songs. <laughs> okay, uh, we have other questions. Uh, I'll first ask uh, Mike, Michael about do you use, uh, do you have any public domain resource to edit Wiki, uh, Wikidata Lexamon or you have to type it 101? Do you have any data source for the Excellent. Okay, for the pop, the for the uh, public domain, maybe uh, we are uh, native speaker from Indonesia, so we add the like some that we know the uh, word. Maybe I know a uh, camel in Indonesia is unta, so I add unta. In Wikidata Lexum, unta and what is unta? I take uh, I add the uh, picture. I add the uh, I I pair a uh, ph phonetic phonetic uh, word uh, and I add the voice. Maybe if uh, we have voice in comments, uh, so uh, but we have a uh, dictionary. Or maybe a uh, kamus besar bahasa Indonesia. Uh, dictionary Indonesia. Uh, we uh, add the link in uh, Wikidata Lexum, but uh, that's it's not important because uh, because we have the uh, word or Lexum. We can add in Wikidata Lexum. Not uh, sure. Make sure the dictionary note. But we have. We can add the link the dictionary in Wikidata Lexum. Uh, maybe if you are speaking Japanese, you can add the Japanese language in uh, Wikidata Lexum, or you can speak uh, Mandarin, you can add the Mandarin Lexum in uh, Wikidata Lexum. So we can uh, 
college uh, the language so we can uh, query the lexum uh, how much lexum uh, in English language in Wikidata so we can we can query maybe like that thank okay, you thanks Michael for his uh, response and once我们讲一次就是 那其實除了看字典,或是有public we have a question on, on, online that is for Alex, that uh, it is asked by Butch on YouTube, that said he wants to know about, wait for me, uh, how long until the wiki data duplicates caused by the Chubans, uh, Chubanos both be finished? Will further development needed? Okay, so the question was, uh, I mentioned that there was a Wikipedia that uh, had had a big import, you know, bot-created articles. Um, there's a Cebuano Wikipedia, which is a, a Filipino language, I think. Um, yeah, uh, how how long till it's uh, completed? So yes, I I <laughs> um, I, I think we'd uh, I'd worked out there's a there was a pie chart in my presentation at Wikimania that w there was about uh, one third of the uh, of those bot created articles had been merged on uh, Wikidata, uh, there, but there was still about two thirds remaining. Um, how long it would take? I was hoping to, it was one of those things where I should, uh, I, I, I said I'd document the process for other people to, to work on and work on it myself, but uh, I've been busy, you know, so, since Wikimania yeah, sort of uh, for this, and <laughs> so uh, I haven't, haven't really had the chance. So um, I'm hoping it would take um, maybe, yeah, one to three months, um, you know, just sort of being quite careful about it. But uh, yeah, um, I don't think it would take very long if I, once I have the time to, to work on it. OK,我今天用中文補充一下,就是大家搜尋數語維基百科 我前幾天看那個就各個語言維基百科條目的數量,它應該是僅次英文維基百科,世界上第二多維基百科的那個語言的語種這樣子。項目存在這樣子,那也是應該會不只是跟澳洲東西啊,跟台灣很多東西其實都會有重複的狀況,不論是在維基百科或Wikipedia這邊。OK,那everything okay, have a uh, on, online or on site if there any question or comment for a speaker? We will take the last uh, one question and then we are going to have lunch. It's our lunch time. Okay, then is there any question online? Okay, then our, our section for this part will be finished and then we applaud again for us the fourth speaker. Thanks them for having this speech and form. Yeah.